Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing the March Boxy Lux unboxing. Um, normally it comes in that like that black and white box, and this month we got green and white. So I'm wondering if this has anything to do with St. Patrick's Day. That would be fun. Now I know that I have been doing a lot of unboxings lately with my schedule. It's just a whole lot easier to be able to do the unboxings versus sitting down and doing a tutorial. Um, those who take a lot more time and whew, that I wish I had more of. <laughs> but with this being early in the week, I can actually sit down a Friday night and film a tutorial for you guys on Saturday. I'm also looking to do like a dupes video. I just reviewed the Urban Decay Wild West palette. I am really enjoying that palette. Uh, but I know you guys have a big collection kind of like me or you're not wanting to purchase the palette. Um, the palette is such a good color scheme for me. I kind of wanted to go through and see if I could dupe out the colors um, from the collection that I already own. And if I can, I want to make a video on it. I thought that would be really cool. Um, I was going through my makeup palettes today <laughs> and there are some that need some love. So I definitely want to bring my Blast in the Past back. Um, new makeup releases. I, I mean, there's so many videos that I want to do. It's just... I haven't had the time and I, I really am trying to get back to that. So if you would just be patient with me a little bit longer, I promise all those videos are going to be coming back shortly. Um, but in the meantime, we have the Boxy Lux unboxing. So let's go ahead and open this up right away. It does show me the card. Of course, it says Lucky, which of course represents St. Patrick's Day. You got the clovers in there. Cute, cute. All right, starting the box off, I see a palette right away. Um, this is a big palette. So this is the Barbarella palette um, by B Beauty London. I have never heard of them, like, at all. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, I do like discovering new brands. But this is what the palette looks like. It looks just like the box. You got the uh, the lashes on the top. It's, it's cute. And then you open it up. It does give you a mirror. And then these are the shadows. So, hmm. Okay, so this doesn't even tell you which one of the glitters. Um... So you can't really follow along. You'll just have to swatch it yourself. But this palette only has four mattes. Uh, that is this brown shade, this blue shade, this light tan shade. Oh, excuse me, five. Johnny is a matte and Ryan is a matte. Everything else is a shimmer and a glitter. Now, I actually don't like palettes like this that are extremely shimmer and glitter based versus mattes. I do like a little bit more matte. So if this had had even two rows of full mattes and the rest shimmers, I would have been a little bit more happy. But I don't know. It just kind of looks like a Morphe palette to me. Minus the bright blue. <laughs> that blue shade does look really pretty. But if you color cover it, it is just a very neutral palette. So I do have plenty of neutral palettes in my collection. Um, so I am not going to swatch this or touch this anymore. I'm going to put this away into my next giveaway. Okay, so the next item we have, this was a choice item and I'm actually really excited for this because I am in the process of organizing <clears throat> my makeup room so hopefully sometime in the next month <laughs> I can do like a beauty room tour I think that would be so cool I can show you guys my artwork and kind of how I have things set up but right now it is a hot mess and I don't want anybody seeing it so uh, with that being said I got this which I mean this packaging is super super cute so you open this up and it is a little eye brush case if I can get it out that would be great <laughs> so this is what it looks like right here it has face eyes and lips I thought that was super super cute um, it's just like a little plastic bin and 
I like it. Not that I really go by which brushes to put in what, although I guess it would make my life a lot easier. Um, but yeah, so this is super helpful and I cannot wait to get back into my brushes and kind of organize them the way I need to. The next item we have, oh, <laughs> whoops, uh, is from Glow Recipe. This is the Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I knew it, okay. I've gotten this before. I haven't used it yet, but I've gotten this before, I got two. But if it's from BoxyCharm and I'm getting the same exact product, uh, that's a little odd. I haven't had that happen before. Not this close, back to back, kind of. I haven't even tested it out. So obviously if it's a good product, yay for me because I have two full size, but yeah, <laughs> that's, that's just, interesting okay but with that being said if any of you guys have tried that serum before please leave a comment down below let me know if you liked it or not um i would really like to know if anybody has what your thoughts are um so yeah do that for me okay so the next item we have now this is old stock <laughs> this is old stock you can tell so kat von d beauty when uh, kat von d owned the company had brushes and palettes and all that good stuff. So uh, when she sold her company, it became KVD Vegan Beauty. Um, they didn't change the initials at all. They just kind of stuck with that, did different packaging. Uh, and I think they just rebranded again, um, changing the name or the meaning of the name or something like that, but it's still KVD. Anyways, uh, the reason I know that this is like old stock is because it actually says Kat Von D on the box itself. So this is the Locket Edge Foundation Brush, which I mean, I'm not mad at. I, I love brushes. Um, I just think it's funny that it's not the rebranded um, item. This is actually old stock that they're trying to push out because you can see clearly right there, Kat Von D. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Edge Foundation Brush. I actually have like one or two of her brushes and I actually ended up enjoying them, but I had bought them um, on sale for like $10 or something. So this is what the brush looks like. Um, it's actually got a really nice weight to it. It has the KVD on the front. Bristles are really soft. I don't know if I would use this for foundation. Um, I could try it, but I actually think this would be really good for blending in contour. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have this. Scam likely, <laughs> but I'm excited to have this. The next item is from, what the heck is this? I see gold glitter. Um, Kiss the Stars 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. Interesting. I can't tell if this is cruelty free and vegan, I think it says. But it's so small I can barely read it. So, apply an even amount of mask to makeup free lips. Leave on for three to five minutes. Wash off, uh, wash off lip mask with water. A tingling sensation is normal. It means it's working. Okay. This is like straight on glitter. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I do have lip masks. I don't necessarily need a plumping lip mask because my lips are kind of full anyway. So I think I'm going to set this aside for the giveaway as well. The next item is from Rose and Quartz. This is a hair mask. Yes, I love hair masks. Um, what, which one am I using right now? The one I'm using right now is from like NYC. Or it's like in an orange tub, like kind of like this. 
um, and I got it from Target and that hair mask is phenomenal and it is like not expensive at all so super happy with that I did try like a Christopher Robin hair mask years ago and it fried my hair like my hair was so damaged after one use it was ridiculous uh, this says love unconditionally hair mask love deeply uh, transcend dry damage and breakage to experience soft silky shine refresh and rejuvenate your mind hair and spirit with daily to weekly treatments while meditating in aromas of rose water and sweet violet mm. oh that smells nice Oh, that smells so nice. Mmm. Okay. I kind of like rose scents. Sometimes it can get overpowering and I'm just like, uh, no. But with this having also like a hint of violet, so like rose and violet mixed together, it's really, mmm. Mm-mm. It smells really nice. Oh, I cannot wait to try this out. So, super happy with this one. And last but not least, we have an item I'm super excited for. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. Now, I did try this when it came out. Um, I wasn't able to test it out for as long as I would like to because I was having a lot of breakouts and I didn't know if it was the foundation or other stuff that was going on. So I... Um, I got rid of it but now that my skin is kind of back to normal except for like hormonal acne acne which needs to go away um, I can test it out and see if this is what was causing the acne or was it the other stuff so this is the bottle right here I'm so excited I chose a uh, shade what was it 140 yes 140 so I don't know if this is going to be my shade or not one can only hope maybe a little light <laughs> maybe a little light let's do like a little patch test light oops way too much way too much for a patch test actually shoot that might work it's hard for me to match foundations for several reasons um, number one I'm more of like an olive tone so sometimes like the ones with the yellow undertones makes me look so yellow and then obviously I can't use ones with pink undertones sometimes neutral still is a little bit too on the pink side for me um, also when matching my foundation I have like two different uh, so like my neck is lighter than here but my shoulder is lighter than here it, it's like three different shades. Like, what do I match it to? Do I match it to my neck? Do I match it to here? Do I match it to here? <laughs> uh, I try, I try to match it to my neck, but this might work. And even if it is too light, let's say I get this all over my face and it's too light, I can bronze it up. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go over everything really quickly. So we got the palette that is $50. I mean, it is a big palette. It does have a lot of shades. That still is just, that, that's pretty pricey. <laughs> um, the Glow Recipe Serum for $42. The Fenty Beauty Foundation for $36. I'm so excited to try that. Um, the Hair Mask for $31. I'm super excited for that. The brush was $34. Let's see. The brush holder was $34. Okay, first of all, I know that like these little holders and compartments and the lip cases and all this other stuff that we use to organize our beauty room are super expensive. Just for that little plastic three divider brush holder, I would not pay $34 for. Would not do it. Maybe 10, maybe 20. 
not 34. Um, I just got two from FabFitFun. One was on sale, it was like 10 or $15. It was really, really nice. Um, the other one was super cute. I'm already started using that, um, but that was included in my box. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. So <laughs> the Dominique Cosmetics, oh wait, 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 wait. Dominique Cosmetics, we must have one more thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, we have one more item. So this is the Dominique Cosmetics Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner. Oh, I wish this was a lipstick. I'm not a lip liner person. I keep uh, saving these lip liners that I've been getting like, oh, this is really nice. Maybe I can use it on my eyes or maybe I really will fill in my lips. <laughs> and I never do. I never do. Maybe one day I will, but... I have it so far. So this is really pretty. So this is definitely like a, a darker neutral shade. Ah, <sighs> that's really pretty. See, now that makes me want to line my lips. Mm. Maybe this is the one to make me do it. We shall see. All right, so where was I? The uh, Dominique Cosmetics. So that's $18. That's a pretty pricey lip liner, right? Um, and the lip mask. $42. That's a pricey lip mask. Hmm. Okay, so this total box comes up to $287. Um... That's not bad considering this box is $49.99. I think that's the price. It's, it's listed down below. Uh, but like I said, the brush holder, I wouldn't pay more than like $20. So I'm going to take off, what was it, $14. So even if I do that, that comes to $273. So that's still a pretty decent price. So am I super, super happy with this Lux box? Uh, it's okay okay I, I like Fenty Beauty I really really enjoy Fenty Beauty so I'm super happy to get this foundation again this really makes me happy the brush is a really nice quality brush I love brushes so I'm super happy with this the hair mask I would like to try it smells really good so that makes me happy of course the brush holder I'm excited for do, could I have lived without it and got something else? Yeah, it, it it wouldn't bother me to have that like replaced by another item. Um, the palette and the lip mask mm, didn't really do it for me. <laughs> so I would not say that this is like, oh my God, the best Lux box ever. No, it was like, nah, nah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big ol' a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I do have a video coming for you this weekend. And hit that little notification bell, that way you guys can be notified of when it goes live. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.